ladies and EDPians, we got them. If you recall, the great Brian, um, fat fuck, I forgot what his last name was, but EDP445, eat that puppy 445, uh, one of the most legendary YouTubers, or infamous YouTubers, certainly, but I think one of the most legendary YouTubers, um, you know, of the past eight years or so, somebody who is, you know, a sports meme, so inherently niche, and somehow lasted the test of time, um, over time, he's kind of leaned into his what his audience wants out of him, being more raunchy, less substantive, um, more of a slob. Pretty much gave up on losing weight, became a, a Trump supporter, a diehard constitutionalist. Even though I don't think the fucking fat piece of shit can fucking spell it. Um, just a real butterball, as you can see in this picture here. And shout out to KTT too. Shout out to Young Nasty Shawty, one of the hardest working YouTubers, um, period, and just social personalities uh, if you follow Fantano um, and a lot of other kind of um, internet related cats in the music scene I'm sure you've heard of him the bonnet pink bonnet you know legendary in and of itself shout out to him not gonna dick ride too much more but shout out to a good dude um, and if you remember from last year I took out the gun for this I believe it was about middle of last year maybe a little bit earlier than that we had this situation it's gonna be linked in the responses here um, I think this is the same situation, but essentially what happened was some YouTuber leaked a Instagram DM. I actually think I did a, either a, um, a video or a podcast when I want to say a video. Uh, I'll try to find it if I did do a video and link it in the description or put in the fucking, the whatevers. Um, but what was funny is that basically... The crux of this was, it was a, a, I think it was a chat full of some of his fans, something like that. And then there was, um, he was in it, like, just shit talking, like, telling, like, you know, kind of his inappropriate humor, but to, like, 14 and 15 year olds. And then what followed up to that was a actual one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone who appe appeared to express that she was possibly a an adult, but... I think it became apparent at some point that she was a minor and he still tested her even with the assumption that she could be a minor. But I think I think there was some semblance of reasonable doubt in that because of the fact that it wasn't expressly stated whether or not she was or wasn't. If I remember that situation correctly. But that, that YouTuber went in on him pretty heavy. Uh, Keemstar retweeted the situation. It was pretty big for a couple of months. But with how vehement his fan base is... You can check the Reddit um, back when that was a thing. I'm not. Sh I doubt I have any of that put in my history, but um, it's, you can definitely tell how vigorous it, his fan base defends him and insulates him from shit. Uh, they definitely did so in his um, his like saying the the very disgusting like and gross humor he was saying to those kids. Like even even if, like he was being catfished from the jump with that girl. And that's another thing, but to, to like say like suck my dick and all it's like a bunch of like fourteen year olds and shit like that was totally not you know allowable for like a thirty year old fucking person. And now we fast forward to this situation. I think this is more modern test here, but it's the same. It's, it's, he's testing the same way he tests the other catfish uh, person. Keep your daddy good night. A little sleep tight, princess. Wrong emoji in the front. Um, yeah, I'm just talking about that. Uh, my shit's probably lag like a motherfucker right now. I can't even imagine. Can't handle, handle two fucking apps. Uh, you have control of complete entire pile of me. That's, that's pretty much how he sent off the other shit. Pretty much how he tests the other girl. Um, and, and for me to say, I mean, like, I still don't know necessarily if he knows that this woman or girl is underage. Because I have to see the personality. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can see the shit. Like, this, this is, this is the, all this shit was around the time that all of this shit happened. And... I think this is, I, I think the this shit that happened last year, like, his fan base kind of thought of him as, like, a, uh, just, you know, a figure, a, a holy figure of sorts that could do no wrong, even in the stuff he was saying, which is obviously very awful and probably came from an awful place. I mean, he has a pretty awful background, um, you know, in terms of just, like, tragedies and shit like that, but, like, he's clearly somebody that, PO445... It's clearly somebody that um, 
if you really looked at it, showed the makings of somebody that could really go off the well, the rails. And I think once he lost that girlfriend that was in his life, who um, appeared to be motivated to be like less of a fucking horrible human being, um, I think once that happened, he really went off the edge. Uh, started really laying into the uh, the MAGA shit heavy, and I think most of his fan friends now seem to be very MAGA-ish. Definitely the ones in the YouTube uh, sections appear to be very, very MAGA-ish. Um, so I'm just scrolling through the Reddit right now. And I'm, I'm still, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out right now. Um, so they found the, Insta, the, the, the fake Instagram that was being used to expose him. Uh, Predator Poachers V6, that's the actual Instagram that, I'm going to go to that in just a second, but that's the actual one that exposed him live in 4k kind of basically your uh chris um the catcher predator chris i forgot his last name I- iconic man i forgot his name here's the video on camera and trying to talk to him uh and yeah th- this shit right here i saw this shit uh three days ago this is pathetic dude this is one of the worst things i've ever seen and this is why i knew like he was just completely le- leaning into that maga shit because i mean his whole rationale was like I watched the first 10 seconds of it, but, like, his rationale is just fucking stupid from the jump. And he, I mean, he, at this point, like, he he has no, other than the MAGA fans, he has, like, no real, like, people that are willing to, like, I think, like, you know, put their neck on the line for this dude at this point. Like, he's just done so much sicko shit, or at least been accused of it so many times that it's like, yeah, the, here, here's actually the DMs. Yeah, here we go. Hope this shit plays. I don't give a fuck. Like, you talking about you want me to wish that nigga happy birthday, motherfucker? You better show me some fucking titties or something, dude. Oh my god, EDP. Like, she's 14. Like, she's 15. Motherfucker, I don't give a fuck, nigga, if the bitch is one. Motherfucker, like, ain't shit free in this motherfucker. All right, hold on. I, I, didn't, I didn't go back to this. I didn't go this deep into it. Let me, let me check this part out. Send her pick himself up that she told him how old she was. I'd have this bitches bouncing on my... Now, see, this is this is, this is actually an entire deep... If I remember this correctly, this is actually an entire chat of underage kids. And, like, I think somebody... Like, you can invite anybody you want to a, a, a chat. My chat of homies has, like, a lot of rappers in it that never checked it. But, essentially, they'll get notified if they don't have, like, that shit muted. And I guess... The girl invited him in there because he was her boyfriend or friend's, like, favorite personality. And that's what he said in response to being asked to say happy birthday. And this is what he said after finding out her age. This is him texting. I I think it was, like, some rationale if this was a fake account or not. But I think it ended up being a real account. And yet, she said twice she was 16, dude. Twice? She was 16. Like, he legit did not... Is there someone that's going to adore and cherish you? But anyway, how's your class? That's kind of sicko. You think about a 31, 32-year-old balding man that's, you know, been out of high school for about as long as she's been alive. And you're asking her how her class is, dude. It's hard to, it's hard to really get past that. And yeah, a lot of people were defending him, man. It's, it's unfortunate, dude. It really is. I, I hate. Like I would rather EDP be a normal, functioning human being, than like, have him like this. But I, I, I think it's. I don't think it's much of a chance of that at this point. I mean, I, I think if you somebody who, has, I mean, this again, this is just like. The people that he got caught up with, like, there's probably a ton of people of of little girls, of whoever, you know, you people like that, you know, really doing some deep shit. But I mean, like, a ton of people that we never heard about that he was like trying to spit game to, and it's like, it's such a slippery slope, dude. Like, it can it can go on and on, you know, forever. I fucking tried to copy the fucking fuck. Predator poacher. I can't see. I, I don't want y'all to see that. I can't spell on on this fucking. I'm I'm stupid. I'm not be honest with you. I'm stupid. Almost as dumb as EDP for testing a 16 year old and telling her that she controlled his life. But 
Not not quite that dumb, but but close. Now I'm hoping that they have the personality, the the, the persona, the Instagram unit. Um, I, I just saw a unit. I just the word came out here. I hope they have the Instagram uh, decoy pulled up. That's what I'm really hoping for. Let's see. Um, someone said it was Instagram. That's very amazing. They were able to set it up in such a way. But this, I, this is, this, I mean, like, this is a dude that, you know, I mean, he, this shit broke last year, and he pretty much circumvented responding to that YouTuber in an actual like substantive way, and also avoided going on Keemstar's uh, channel. Which I mean, I, the Keemstar shit was kind of clout chasing of itself. Like, if you don't want to give Keemstar more clout than ball, means fuck Keemstar. He's a horrible human being. Um, but it's very self evident that he was trying to avoid pedophilia however he possibly could i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it on that i want to find i want to see if they have the instagram i want to see how bad it is because i imagine it's pretty bad yeah he just let himself go there, there here's like fuck the pedophilia for a second people were legit paying money um like paying their own money to get this do a gym membership a car so he could drive to the, the gym and then money so he could um so he could like afford to eat better because he was like at you know at one point in time really poor and you know he done better uh, since then with Patreon and shit like that. But like, I've been through, you know what I mean? Me losing my mom's and finally being able to move out. My fucking YouTube channel was growing at rapid fucking rates. You know what I mean? Um, I have great, beautiful, loving, caring, goddamn friends. I have two fucking goddaughters who are some of the most adorable fucking things ever. You know what I mean? Spoiled. I want to lay them around him. I just dropped 60 fucking grand upon a fucking car. Do you honestly think that I would sit back and throw away my life for some fucking punk ass bitch that barely even has fucking hair on her motherfucking pussy? For this is the pro- like this. Even back then, I was, like, trying to, like, rationalize, like, the situation last year. Because, I, you know, I used to be an EDP fan. Like, even, you know, me and my homies, uh, you know, we kind of, when we were in high school, like, this dude was just a funny-ass character. And then you had the Eagles win the Super Bowl, like, the year after uh, I graduated. And it was kind of a bonding moment between the, the chat, like, just him going crazy and shit. Um, I mean, this is a guy that is, you know, not necessarily larger in life, but really, really big in our community. Uh, or at least was, and I didn't want to believe he was that fucking disgusting. Like, I wanted to believe like, he was just an awful human being, or at least awful in his taste, like, his his filter. I'm just, I mean, like, you think about, like, Daniel Tosh, for example. Like, Daniel Tosh probably has some pretty crazy-ass shit. I think that EDP seemed to have a little bit more deranged uh, sense of morals than Daniel Tosh, but, um, yeah, it's very 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 clear that um that uh EDP was not was lying basically please look into this guy EDP this guy's a oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. and yeah they're supposed to have a video come out that should be very interesting I I really want to see what that Instagram is I'm hoping that I think it's real. I, I don't think there's any other way around. I think it's real. I'm just trying to. I don't. I, I really just want to find the Instagram to see how bad it is. But they say it's coming soon. CC unit. Yeah, he's fucked, dude. He's he's going to prison, dude. He's he's uh. I think combined with the history he has, like that other shit that was pulled up that I had for y'all earlier. I, I don't see any way he can get around it, bro. I think he's fucked. I think I think EDP is probably somebody that was on a lot of people's list. You know, a lot of people behind the scenes in that area for a while. Yeah, I mean, this type of shit happens when you get put on a list, dude. Like, they... It may not be this, like... You know, it's like seven, eight months after the initial allegations. It may not be right then, but, um... You, you get put on a list and you gotta... 
Like EDP was pretty much blessed um, that he wasn't like probably tried and you know at least asked some questions back then. Um, so this this girl appears to be the decoy. So let's check this out. Marshmallows Alexandria. Okay. Marshmallows. This appears to be the actual um, decoy. I may be wrong about this. Uh, and I guess we'll find out tomorrow. But I would imagine this is probably the one. Oh, fuck. Yo, that if, <laughs> if that's not the face of a fucking like, like she says she's eighteen very clearly. That doesn't look like she's eighteen whatsoever, dude. That's not somebody you look at and think eighteen, bro. That's not even. That doesn't look like eighteen. That doesn't even smell like eighteen, bro. So I, I guess the way that this works, because I mean, legally speaking, if he came. I'm not sure about all of the legalese of this, but from what I gather, if he came with a pretense that she was 14, that's one thing. But I still think there's like a gray area where like if she wasn't actually 14, I'm not sure exactly how that all works. Because I know when when uh, Chris Hansen did it, he did it with like, it would just be like some dude basically texting like saying that he's 14 or whatever. So like, I think it's under pretense. So I think those chats will show... The, what those chats contain will, will will be relevant as far as if this is actually him going to prison or him just like being basically fucked for the rest of his life in terms of like you know like publicity sponsorships yada yada hopefully fans too I think either way fans he should probably be fucked because these people these people from what I gather in just a small time within this video don't appear to like just be doing this shit just to do it like they are trying to take down people who have been a problem in their area for a while. And I'm, it would make a lot of sense to me if EDP was talking to more, you know, regionally based uh, women, girls or women. Um, so them being in his area, that makes a lot of sense, I guess, to me. But, yeah, that's that's crazy. Let me see if they got to her in the comments. I wouldn't be shocked if someone said something. Let's see. Uh, yeah, here we go. I'm 56 year old. Are you an underage girl? I guess that's... So I guess she's been doing this for a while. The Breda says she's been doing this before. Thank you for helping him catch EDP 445. Did she like that? Let's see. She did. Ugh. So yeah, she was a decoy. She was a decoy. There you go. EDP 445. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so there you go. This is a decoy. Um... I'm only, like, showing this because I'm pretty sure that they're going to show her in the film. And she's basically admitted on wax that, you know, they... Uh, let's see let's see what she said on the Instagram stories. I think that would be prevalent. Let's see what... There's, there's all the evidence there. So I'm imagining that she's going to reveal that she was... Or, or is a minor in that situation. In the decoy situation. I'm sure they kind of came to her... You know, earlier times, like, here you go. You know, the situation like this. They caught EDP. It's, you know, it's not a joke. It's a legal action, so you can't just reveal chats crazy, you know, willy-nilly. Um, Sting Operation CC Unit. I guess, this is, a, is this a police? Let me let me see CC Unit. Is this like a, a, a subsection of a police force? I'm not familiar with what they do. Um, okay, let's just right here. Creep catching unit. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let me read their bio real quick in this uh this YouTube. And now I'm gonna end on that. Okay, CC Unit is a movement out of California that strives to help people protect children from online criminals both by catching these criminals and raising community awareness around the issue in hopes of toughening laws and legislation. Frown upon shadow videos. So I'm I don't think it's necessarily all I I don't think it's them necessarily having like a legal like backing like i don't think there's like a police force backing them but from what i gather it appears that they definitely look to do this 
under the guise of turning these people over um, to the authorities and more than anything, just ruining, you know, making, revealing in, in broad daylight that these people are who they are. So yeah, that's it for me. Um, you know, it's clear that EDP at the very least was contacting the female under the guise that she was underage. And don't support him, man. I know that EDP is this larger than life figure. Literally, he's a fat fuck. Um, you know, but it's he's done a lot of weirdo shit and you know, we all gotta come to that time where we just say fucking enough is enough. You know, this dude he's like a fucking like R. Kelly or some shit like that where you're just like, Oh fuck. <laughs> he's the most talented motherfucker of all time, you know. He's gonna still have a career after this. All EDP does at this point is just swear, make a joke about masturbating on somebody or telling somebody to suck his wiener. I mean some shit like that. I mean that's like we don't need EDP anymore. I think I think society has evolved past the point of EDP. Everybody's EDP on Twitter nowadays. You go on fucking NBA Twitter, there's nothing but EDP four for fives in there. Degenerates that need God and their mother in their life. And that's where that's we all need a little. We need a little bit more of God and our moms in our life. Hope you all enjoyed the video. EDP, it's over with, bro. They got you. You are you are get get the country right now. If you still can. I don't know what to tell you. Get. First plane uh, out of LAX, take that shit and get the fuck out of it because you are done, son.